aspect of tonight's game for you? Well, I thought uh, obviously you have to grind out two points, and, and every every game is uh, is a battle for sure. But I thought we did it uh, the right way. I thought we played very well in, in a lot of aspects, almost all aspects of our game. Um, I thought they played pretty well too. Um, but we did lots of things we want to do. We, we uh, I thought we did a good job using our D to exit our zone. I thought our breakouts were pretty good. I thought we played with lots of speed. I didn't think we gave them tons of space. Now they're really good, so they create some as well. Um, but I thought the process was good. Uh, you know, you want the two points, but you want the process to be real good. Uh, and then, oh, I just I know it's only two games. However, at the same point, to kind of win two in a row after kind of what you guys went through, that's got to be pretty satisfying. Um, yeah, well, yeah, it's better to win two than not. You know, and, and I think I just look at it game by game, and, and you know, we just got to continue to grind and get better every day, and we want to continue to improve as a hockey team. And I thought we took a step forward in terms of improving as a hockey team. And in the meantime, you got to find way to po find ways to points, and we did that tonight. Your D had five points in the Ottawa game. Two more points tonight. Smitty was up on a rush, missed. But uh, you're seeing your get your D engaged more in the offense with what you want to do here. Jeff. Well, I think that starts on the on the breakouts. To be honest with you, I think getting out of our zone. I thought our D's done a way better job of uh, being uh, active, talking, uh, being options to get out, and then as a result, they're able to jump into play. So uh, I like what we've had going with our D the last little bit. I think it's a it's a formula for us to be successful. It's something that we re-emphasized here in the last little bit, and it's. Uh, I think it's, re it's shown results on the ice. Shane was really uh, moving his feet there through the neutral zone. He really built up ahead of steam there on his goal. I mean, that's one of the things you'd like to see from him. Yeah, no, I thought it was really good. You know, um, he, he got going. He can really skate when he gets going like that. And it makes him, a, a, you know, a real effective player at that big body and obviously real good shot on that. Second Other straight game-winning goal for uh, Dylan Larkin and he gets into a little skirmish there too. Is, mm -hmm. I mean, just first 12 games for this guy, he seems to be fitting right in. Yeah, no, well, he's done a very good job. Um, that's undeniable. Uh, his impact on games has been very good. Does he have to get better at stuff? Absolutely. Um, did, was there lots of stuff I thought over the first two periods that he had to uh, continue to improve at? 100%. And our job as coaches is to make sure we continue to hold him accountable as he is having success, uh, just like we'd hold anybody else accountable, and we will do that. Um, I think he'll continue to improve because he wants to improve. I think he'll get better because he wants to get better. His impact so far has been very good. <laughs> what areas, Jeff? That's that you find more important than others, like plus minus, for instance, and he's a plus 10, which is... Was that say about him? To be honest, we don't look lots at uh, the uh, some of those stats. Not that they don't mean anything; they mean something. And and you know, being on for lots of goals for and not much against means something. So I don't want to totally downplay it. But we spend much more time, especially with our forwards, looking at our own scoring chance plus minus. How many scoring chances have they created compared to how many scoring chances they've given up? And within that, how many great A scoring chances uh, compared to how many they've given up? And he's uh, he's done very well in that stat as well. What areas are you looking for him to, I guess, keep working on and growing it? Well, just lots of little things. You know, uh, making sure we're stopping on the puck, uh, making sure y y managing the game. Um, sometimes you got to just live another day and take your ice back and be an F3 and, and not give up an outnumbered rush. Uh, th those are things when, when you're a young guy and you want it so bad. You know, sometimes you go forward when you're supposed to go backwards. Those are just they're just a lot of little teaching things that will continue to help him get better at. Is this what you would hope to see when you kind of thought up the goaltending situation at the start? You said two guys competing every night. I mean, yeah, I think they're driving each other to be better. Um, I think uh, they're good friends. Um, they're character people. They want us to win, and they both want to do great, and they've done a, a great job for us all season long. You know, I said at the beginning of the year, I thought we had two uh, goalies that have proven at different times in the league to be elite in this league, and uh, that's been playing out so far.